welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Welcome to my first episode of my Peru special. In case you don't know, 28th of July is Peru's Independence Day and so I thought it would be a nice way to celebrate to make a special of Peruvian dishes. Today we're going to make a Nikkei dish. Nikkei is the word for the fusion between Japanese and Peruvian cuisine. By the end of the 18th century, Peru received lots of Japanese immigrants and there was no way that they wouldn't influence in our culture. So Nikkei is the fusion of these two cultures that live in Peru. And I thought it would be nice to do something that mixes two cultures within Peru because I know that there's a lot of talk about migration all around the world and I just wanted to say that we are stronger together than we are separate. And this is a very good example of it. I know the title says that it's a ceviche, but I'm actually lying to you. It's a tiradito. The reason I said ceviche is because not many people know what a tiradito is. And the difference is that a ceviche, you find the uh, fish cut in cubes, whereas in a tiradito, you find it in very thin strips because of the Japanese influence and the sashimi. Also, the ceviche typically has a red onion raw on top and also typically as well some sweet potato and corn. The tiradito is much more free-handed or we're going to do a very oriental sauce with it and I'll teach you how to make it. It looks very complicated and very restauranty, but I promise that it's more easy than it looks. As always, if you want to see the full recipe then all you need to do is click on the link in the description below or on the eye above me and that will take you to the blog where you will find lots more recipes. Also, if you like this video, don't forget that you can put thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this tiradito, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. We're going to start with the Asian part of the sauce for the tiradito. So all I have here is some um, orange juice, also some orange zest, as well as ginger, apple vinegar, and also soy sauce. So we're going to put all of this here and we're going to boil it until we have a very nice syrup. Then we're going to pass it through a sieve and that is going to go into the fridge to cool down and that's what we're going to mix with our leche de tigre, which I'll explain to you afterwards what it is. So we just put everything in and put it on high heat and let it boil away. Once you see that it started to get a bit more syrupy, then it's time to stop. We pass it through a sieve and it immediately goes into the freezer to cool down. Okay, now we're going to make the leche de tigre. The difference between a Peruvian and a Mexican uh, ceviche is that Mexicans only use lemon to cook their fish. Whereas we use a mix of a lot of stuff which give us the leche de tigre which translates to tiger's milk. The reason it's white is because it has scraps of white fish inside and the protein that mixes with the lemon creates a white uh, sort of a precipitation within the juice. So that's what we're going to do now. I have white onion here. I also have one tiny chili but it's quite spicy. I also have uh, some ginger, some uh, garlic and also celery, and now we're going to put the lime juice. I know that leche de tigre usually has coriander in it or parsley, but I hate them. Like, I can't stand them. So I'm really sorry for all of you purists out there who think that I'm uh, committing heresy, but I'm just gonna do it this way because that's the way I like, and I cannot sell you something that I wouldn't eat myself. Now we're just going to pulse it. Don't blend it too much. That's it, there are leche de tigres ready. So if you wanted to make a ceviche, this is what you put on it and that's it. Now we're going to cut the tuna fillet. So like I told you, we're going to cut it sashimi style. We're going to make really thin cuts of the tuna and this is going to help us preserve that texture that's going to go so well with the sauce. To do this, the most important thing is to have a really sharp knife. If your knife is not sharp or it has teeth on it, then it will tear the meat apart. You can also do this tiradito with 
a white fish, a sea bass would work really, really well, and even salmon. I'm also going to cut some really fine cucumber sticks to put on top. I really loved how they gave a nice and fresh flavor to the dish. I'm only using the green outside with a bit of the flesh inside and the rest I'm going to use to flavor my water. So there's no need to waste any cucumber. Before assembling the dish, make sure to season with salt the fish. And then I'm going to arrange it in a line, but you could also do a circle or just splatter it around however way you want it. Now you need to add a couple of tablespoons of the leche de tigre to the sauce that we made before and this is going to go on top of our tuna. Be mindful that right now I'm only mixing half the recipe. Don't put the sauce on top if you're not going to eat it straight away because the lime will start to cook the fish and we want it freshly mixed. And if this is the case, make sure to keep your leche de tigre inside the fridge because it turns bitter if it's outside. We then put our cucumber sticks on top. Then I'm going to add some of that spicy chili for the brave ones, but you can use any chili of your choice or don't put any at all. I'm also going to put some crispy quinoa on top. If you want to see how this is done, you can go to my 5 crunchy salad toppings video. Finally, we finish with a few scattered drops of sesame oil. And there you have it, a Nikkei tuna tiradito worthy of any good Peruvian restaurant. That was my Nikkei tuna tiradito, I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video, it makes me really happy. Also, please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the vlog, send me a picture or tag me on a photo because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything that you'd like me to teach you how to make, whether it's savory or sweet, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting videos every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.